Nowadays, there are lots of Pokemons that even diehard fans are having trouble differentiate them, let alone knowing their types. We want to investigate this problem. Let us take you viewers into the story of our project, What Type is a Psyduck? We will obtain our dataset from the website Kago. Although it is only one dataset, it contains around 10,000 images of Pokemon from Generation 1. Furthermore, the images are filled with variations, from images in the game to fan art and merchandises. After obtaining the dataset, we divide our dataset into 64% for training, 16% for validation, and 20% for testing by applying train test split. We also resized our images to 64 by 64 and normalized them. Oh, our dataset is not too big. To prevent overfitting, we can increase the size of the dataset uh, by introducing noise, which is data augmentation. We use multiple methods such as random erasing, shear, and rotation to increase our dataset and prevent overfitting. For the evaluation metrics, we will be using accuracy. We will also use ROC curve by determining the area under the curve or AUC where we want to maximize true positive rate and minimize false positive rate. For our project, we try to create two models, multi-label and multi-class classification. For multi-class, we divide the Pokemon into different classes depending on their types. So, fire and fire flying are considered two different classes. For multi-label, we predict based on the probability in individual types. We will try these two models and later compare the results. First, we are going to use logistic regression, which is great for classification problem. For this model, we are also using CNN or Convolutional Neural Network. We are using ResNet 34 Deep Learning model for this one. We can now see the performance of both logistic regression model and the ResNet 34 Deep Learning model from the table here. As we can see, it seems to favor the ResNet 34 Deep Learning model. Let us discuss further. Based on our result, which strategy is more useful and flexible? It is obvious that the ResNet models perform better than their logistic regression counterpart. Maybe we want to say that multi-class is the winner due to the higher test accuracy. However, as there are imbalanced number of Pokemon from each type, it is better to evaluate it with this F1 score, which is higher in our multi-label model. Thus, we conclude that multi-label model is better for this. Of course, in real life, there is no way that we could meet a Pokemon, let alone identify their type. However, this project may serve as a building block for other projects that are more applicable in daily lives, such as identifying different numbers or alphabets from an image of handwriting, and even image capture on websites such as Google. Thank you for listening to our video, and we hope you guys learned something new from this.